ஹலோ ஐ எம் ஸ்ரீவத்ஸ் ராமானுஜன் ஐ ஜாயின் ஃபிஜி சுப்ரீம் இன்டெகிரேட்டட் ப்ரோக்ராம் இன் கிளாஸ் நைன் ஐ ஹெட் ஆல்வேஸ் பின் அண்ட் அபவ் ஆவரேஜ் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் பட் ஃபிஜி ரியலி டிட் ஹெல்ப் பிரிங்க் அவுட் ஆல் மை ஹிடன் ஹிடன் பொட்டென்ஷியல் தே கேவ் அஸ் அ லாட் ஆஃப் பேக்கேஜஸ் அண்ட் டேப் அசைன்மெண்ட்ஸ் விச் ஆர் ஆல் ஆஃப் வேரிங் டிஃபிகல்ட்டி and because they were a varying difficulty it did really give us a lot of practice and a lot of material which could help us tune our problem solving skills uh, they also did conduct a lot of mock exams for various competitive exams like the ntsc and kvpy which i gave in my 10th and 11th and thanks to fiji's help i was able to clear both and i cleared kvpy with a rank of 219 in 11th and 12th uh, the focus shifted more towards je mains and je advanced uh, the questions had also started becoming tougher and we had to work for more hours a day the same pattern continued of uh, giving us a lot of question papers to solve and the question papers were mostly in the same pattern as that of the final exam that was also really helpful as in the final exam it did not feel like it was anything new and it felt like the same environment which had, which we had been writing all our exams in up to then as the exams were all, almost always the same duration as that of je mains and je advance all our mains type exams were written for 3 hours and our advance type exams were written for 6 hours because we wrote most exams for 6 hours we weren't really feeling the fatigue in the second paper when we were writing the final exam as we were used to it and in fact we even had some 8 hour papers with with two papers of 4 hours each which further helped us to improve our concentration and sitting for long periods of time uh, the papers which they gave us were as i said of varying difficulty and i feel that that was actually a really important factor for us as it allowed us to be prepared for both an extremely easy paper as well as an extremely tough paper and it taught us how to tackle any sort of paper that they uh, threw at us and uh, to make sure that we weren't ruffled by a tough a really tough paper nor did we become complacent if we saw a really easy paper in the exam our faculty were extremely helpful whenever we had any doubts at all they would they were actually very happy to answer us and we could ask them how many our questions they wanted how many our questions we wanted and they would not worry about it and they would answer almost all of them and fiji also did give us uh, some time for one to one sessions with our faculty they went in through our uh, strengths and weaknesses in depth and that was also a really really good thing for us it helped us identify what we were good at and what we were bad at personally that really helped me a lot in the final exam as i was able to get a really really good score in chemistry and even though i wasn't that great at physics i was still able to manage somewhat in the final exam uh fiji also did give us a dedicated time just to do analysis after every single test this actually made sure that we knew what we are doing wrong and that we wouldn't repeat it because that is actually a big problem which our teachers tell us it's fine if you make a mistake once but it's not fine to make that mistake again and because we did our test analysis in fact almost immediately after the test or at the maximum one or two days after every test we were in touch with what mistakes we were doing and we were able to correct them before the final exam as we had written probably around 20 to 30 tests before the final full test before the final exam and for each test in fact test analysis sessions used to go around for like 4 to 5 hours and because they went on for that long we we knew in fact every topic or even like a particular question where uh, there was a certain type of mistake that generally people would make we knew that we shouldn't make those types of mistakes and our teachers teachers also made sure that we knew how to solve almost every single type of question and avoid the common mistakes which uh, people generally make uh fiji also provided us with a lot of books for all the exams they gave us a series of je mains archives another series for je advanced and a special series of books for, called gmp the grand masters package uh, J, the je advanced archives and the gmp all had all had really good quality questions the advanced archives were of course just the previous year questions and of course je advanced is known for its good quality questions 
and the GMP questions were a collection of questions from a Fiji series called AITS. AITS of course had almost the first few tests were ridiculously tough and the questions in those tests were on a different level. They are really good for learning new concepts and they also taught us where we stood on a national scale. So because the GMP was a collection of such questions, practicing it did really help for J Advance where there were a really few tough questions. We actually learned how to solve problems in around four to five methods as each of us had a different approach towards problem solving. And that I feel was also a big game changer as some of us would come up with very, very fast methods like scaling and whatnot to solve questions very quickly. And the others who would solve the questions slowly would uh, pick up from that and because of that the time required to solve a particular question in the final exam was optimized and a question which would normally take a person around three minutes would take us only around two two minutes or one and a half minutes that was actually like a really important part and plus the thing was because they let us to be free during those times uh, the studies didn't really feel that stressful and because we were with our friends we actually managed to have a lot of fun and crack a lot of jokes in class and uh, that led to a low stress environment which in fact was a very very beneficial as studies isn't supposed to be a, st a stressful thing and even in our normal classes the teachers never put any unnecessary pressure on us there should be a certain amount of pressure of course but it was never uh, too much for a person to take and in fact the classroom environment was a really fun place to be in and uh, because of that it didn't feel like we were preparing that much for for one of india's toughest exams and it more felt that we are just getting a lot of knowledge while having a lot of fun i would tell my juniors to not start solving random books of your own accord. Your teachers generally know much, much, much better. And suppose someone from your class is solving, uh, say, Pathfinder, which is a really difficult book for physics. Uh, my advice would be to ask your physics faculty before solving that book, as our physics faculty actually told us that it's not necessary for JE Advanced. And I haven't solved in, uh, I, I don't think I've solved in one question from that book and it, it's actually not necessary for you to solve such ridiculously difficult books if you want to get a good rank in advance. In fact, if you have any doubts whatsoever on what to do on a particular day or if you're not feeling that well or confident in a particular topic, I would suggest you to immediately go to your faculty and ask them. They, are, they will be your number one asset during these two years or four years of your preparation. And that is actually what is going to boost you a lot. If you make sure that you are in good touch with your teachers and you're really free with them and ask them whatever is on your mind, that itself should be more than enough for you to be assured of doing well. I would like to thank uh, first and foremost my parents. They enrolled me in Fiji in 9th. Uh, even though I might have not noticed it myself, they thought that I would do well in this and they slightly, I wouldn't say a lot, they slightly pushed me to writing the FTRE exam and because I did well in that, they decided to join me in Fiji and none of this would have been possible without their help. Uh, they never really put any pressure on me to study. Uh, I, I think uh, most parents might be that way but they never asked for my marks or they never worried about my performance and they let me be as I was. That was really helpful during my four years at Fiji. My second uh, note of gratitude would be to my teachers. For the past four years, they have been incredibly helpful. They have taught me almost everything that I know. And whenever I went to them with my innumerable doubts, they never turned me down. They always took, they even took some extra time uh, out of their really busy schedules, they had to teach around 3-4 classes and they still took the time to clear every single one of my doubts no matter how lengthy or how, how many there were. And again, this would not have been possible without their help. They, they have been really, really instrumental in whatever success I have been able to achieve. 
the third group of people i would like to thank are my friends uh it the class environment of course is really important and it did not feel as if i was being in an environment where everyone around me was studying we used to talk a lot about movies and other tv shows which we used to do in our free time and i feel that because we were able to talk about all this we were also able to share about uh, individual problems that we ourselves had and we were able to bring each other up as a classroom should be we were able to bring each other up and help each other perform better and because our class was full of like minded people that also did make a huge difference in our final performance it was extremely uh, comforting to know that you could turn to uh, someone who is going through the same thing as you whenever you felt down about your studies you could just confide it felt like you had a lot of people to confide in and that was also a really nice thing to have